Well guys, I uh, got another little uh, project bicycle here. Uh, this one here is a supercycle um, model uh, burner and uh, of course that's made by supercycle. Was sold by uh, Canadian Tire. I believe they still sell supercycle, not 100% certain. This one here I'm guessing is probably a good five years old. And actually it's in uh, reasonable uh, shape considering. Of course, uh, like uh, most of these bikes, the, the boots go around the shocks. That's a, that's a normal no matter what. You know, it's just made from cheaper material. And yeah, the, the shifters and stuff like that all work. And uh, the brakes and stuff like that all work. The paint's not all scuffed up. It's been, uh, it's like it's been uh, hung in a garage or took care of for, uh, you know, it's uh, pretty much its whole life. Even the pedals themselves aren't all uh, scuffed or busted up or anything like that. You know, it's it's seen a bit of sun fade because, of course, this should be red. But um, you know, checking out the tires, they're not all uh, checked or rotten or nothing. Well, the reason why um, I've got this bike, well, if you notice here. If you notice here, the back rim is loose on the bike. Now, upon first inspection, I thought, well, possibly, uh, you know, there was a bearing issue in the axle or something like that. But upon closer inspection, you see here the uh, cassette. Basically, what holds the gears on is um, let go or strip because it's not engaging in either direction. So, um, it comes to the... Uh, th um, so basically what now comes to mind is whether you're going to fix this bike or to uh, use it as parts. Now of course uh, this is where the whole evaluation of whether a bike is worth it or not comes into play. But uh, given the condition of the bike, you know, the 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 paint, the, the lack of stuff it does need for repair, um, I'm more likely just to throw a back rim into this you know to uh, get around this whole issue and then good from there so yeah guys let's pull off the back wheel and just to see uh, what's the issue is with the uh, cassette here well guys just pulled the back wheel off this bike and of course uh, you know upon uh, further inspection here you see how clean this is this bike has uh, seen very little to almost no use um, even in here there's some slight chipping, you know, where the chain slaps against the frame. But even then, that's not all beat up like most of them are too. But, of course, it got the wheel off here. And upon a closer inspection, you see, of course, like I was saying, the cassette doesn't uh, engage. So you pull this off. And uh, usually there's this gold ring here. If you notice, there's threads in here which are meant to spin on two uh, threads that are right here well there's those threads are gone these threads are no longer in existence on this hub now there is probably a way to switch out this hub here from the the silver part the hub of the bicycle because obviously they had to get this plastic piece on somehow but um, when when it's all come apart and it's no longer part of the cassette then it's basically a uh, you know parts wheel but of course maybe in me I do have a source of parts however this is a, a six speed back hub two three four five and six and some of the ones I have are sevens now of course so I'm gonna go check my parts uh, collection and uh, see what I got so guys in my collection I had another rim took a bit of digging but I was able to find her um, it looks like it's off a similar bike because even the, uh, if you see here, the tread pattern on the front tire is the same as uh, this pattern on this tire. So it must have been off a, uh, a similar uh, model or something like that anyways. And even the, uh, the rims are a different... Uh, The rims are even the same profile and uh, everything like that. Of course, they're a different uh, brand of rim, but hey, you know, uh, on a bicycle, you're not really gonna get that fussy. 
So of course, uh, being I swapped over the rims to a to a different set, uh, you're gonna have to adjust the brakes because, as you see, they're touching. And you're probably going to have to, or you should anyway, adjust the shifting because the cassette that used to be on here might have had a different spacing than the one that you're putting on it. And of course, if you overshift, you'll end up into the spokes. And if you undershift, you know, you can end up jumping the chain off. But yeah, guys, just going to go through the bike and adjust the shifting and all that, and then I'll check back in. Well guys, just giving a bit of a check in on this bicycle. Well, I have the uh, brakes and stuff all set. I uh, was working on the shifting. Um, I can get it to shift up into the, like, you know, gear number one, number two, but it will not shift back down. I've adjusted the little setting screws and all that, and um, pretty much with no um, success. Um, I've even tried to run it without the uh, cable. Um, pretty much the way it works is when the cable pulls on here it makes the derailleur pull toward the spokes on the bicycle which allows you to shift up into first you know gear right and when you release the uh, tension on the cable the spring which is right back uh, I'm not sure if you can see it but in there um, it's supposed to pull it back toward the frame of the bike. Well, um, I'm thinking, uh, after doing the adjustments and stuff like that, I'm thinking that um, the spring on this derailleur is uh, faulty. Whether it's lost its tension or um, it doesn't appear to be broke, it doesn't appear to be um, unhooked or anything. It's just um, not functioning properly. So of course I don't have the same derailleur, um, but I'm going to switch it out for another one. I believe this one here is a 6 speed as well. Um, so guys, let's get it slapped on there and uh, see if we have success. Well guys, just got that derailleur installed and it does run um, through the gears. And uh, it does, uh, you know, advance and pull back just like what she's supposed to. So obviously, of course, this one's not uh, quite as good a quality as the other one, and uh, it was for a seven-speed bike. But hey, you know that's some minor adjustment there. But um, hey, it's working, so that's all that really matters. So now, what I'm going to do is I uh, just sprayed her with some brake clean, getting all the gunk and stuff off it. Probably should have done that before I did the fine adjustment, but whatever's. And just letting her drip off, and I'll go over one more time, and then the shifting's done. And we can pretty much direct our attention to the rest of the bike, which uh, is not really going to need a whole lot at all. Of course, uh, the normal air in the tires. And then she's pretty much good to go. But yeah, guys, um, you know, uh, the really only reason why I put that much uh, work into this bike is basically because of the condition of the paint, you know. If it wasn't like this, if it was chipped up and ugly and, you know, spray painted or whatever, yeah, she would have been gone, you know. I would have pulled off the uh, front rim and uh, she would have been out of here. Um, I was thinking about the old rim here. And uh, this black part, I believe, is actually part of the cassette here right here which has seemed to have come um, on whatever it is unwelded unthreaded however they seem to hold it on here however the only thing is is if you look inside here there's a row of teeth um, I don't have the tool to take that off if I would have the tool to take that off I could spin that off and put a new um, cassette in its place and then it wouldn't be an issue whatsoever but, um, you know, that's the way it goes, guys. Uh, you know, I had bicycle tools and stuff like that at one time, but, hey, things change and starting all over again, you know, all over again, you know. But, guys, um, you know, just going to let the uh, brake clean and stuff like that drip off that bike, and I'll give her a once-over, you know, one final time. Well, guys, just took her for a bit of a ride. Um, she does run. She does shift. She does work. She does stop. So yeah, she's pretty much um, good to go. You know, like I said, you know, um, the, 
easiest thing to do when you're working on a bike is just to have a source of parts because you never know when they're going to come in handy. You know, like that uh, derailleur down there. If I didn't have one of those, um, I would be, you know, pretty much parting this thing out. So yeah, she's all wiped down and got a few pictures took and she's good to go. So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, thanks for watching Maxwell's World. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.